pulp, you need electric tape, black tape. You need, for my switch, I'm going to use a paper clip and two screws. You need your solid ferromagnetic core. And you need two wires. You need a short one that will go between your switch and your battery. And you'll need a long one that will cover the rest of the pole and back to the rear end of either your switch or your battery, however you design it. Um, now, Alonzo, you've had some time to think about it. So how long does the pole portion need to be? 75 centimeters to 100 centimeters. Right, 75 to 100 centimeters. So this, that's why the meter stick here is actually exactly one meter long or 100 centimeters. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm going to start with the switch on this one. You can do multiple different um, designs for your switches. To me, this is the easiest one instead of going out to buy one. So first you take, you put two screws into the uh, whatever it is you're using. In this case, this wood stick was pretty easy. Now these I did not pre-drill because I didn't have a drill here, but if I did have a, a drill, I would take a small bit and I would pre-drill the holes for the screws. That way when you screw them in, sometimes if you put a screw in straight into the wood, because this is so thin, it would crack it. So if you pre-drill it first before you screw it in, sometimes that helps. Alright, so I'm going to take the paper clip and I'm going to put it across or attach it to the back end. Actually, yeah. I'm just going to leave that there for now. If I can get it on. I'm not going to screw anything down yet. Now here's where I'm going to take my short wire. Okay, As I said, the short wire goes between the battery and the switch. So now I'm using a battery holder today. You don't have to use a battery holder. I could tape the battery straight to it. Okay, And I could tape the battery and the switch together. But as I've said before, if there's one thing I suggest you buy, it is the battery holder because it ensures the connection between your wires and the battery. Now again, if this were a project pole, what I would probably do would be to take this and do the same thing, screw this down into the wood. Okay, That way I can pop the battery in and out pretty easily. But I'm not doing that today. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the, the battery in it and I'm going to tape it down. But I have to make sure that before I tape it down, I'm actually going to go ahead and connect this to the rear end of the switch. So this hooks around the screw again, make sure it's a metal screw. Okay? And underneath you want to make sure that the wire, okay, and the paper clip are touching underneath of the screw. If that's not the case, you know, you need that complete path. Screw this down. Make sure it's tight. So now I know where I need to tape down my battery. Okay. Make sure that this has enough room. And I you don't want to always make it extremely you know, tight. Give yourselves a little room to play with. So I'm going to tape it down about right there. If I got a piece of tape out ready. Again, the black tape, it's nice and stretchy. You don't have to worry about cutting it. You just pull it and it snaps off. And I'm not taping this down as secure as I would if it were my own project pole. We're doing this in interest of time today. So just tape it. Now again, like I said, now to change my battery, I have to take the whole battery off. The whole battery off. So if I put it, if I screw the battery holder down, I can just pop the battery in and out. So now I can just clamp this in the back end, or the front end. Okay. So now my wire is connected from my battery to the rear end of my switch. Okay. I want to make sure that this paper clip stays up all right, so it doesn't close the circuit. Okay. If this is down into contact with, with the screw and I have everything connected together, then the electricity is going to flow. The current is going to flow all the time as long as the battery holds energy in it. So you want to lift that paper clip to make sure that doesn't happen. Now I'm going to take my second wire and I'm going to connect it to the front end of the switch. Again, a little hook. Move that 
screw that down. Okay, again, the screws are metal, which allows the electricity to flow. So now when I depress this, it closes the switch, okay, allows the current, the electrons to move from the battery through the wire, across the paper clip, depress it across the paper clip, down into the screw and into this wire. Black tape, tape the wire down to the pole. You want to tape this. As, as long as you have tape, use it. Don't be afraid. You can't really tape it too much. Um, I've seen people not tape it, and it's really loose, like you'll see this will look in a couple minutes. Okay? See, if I just put another piece of tape here, you see this is still pretty loose. So as I'm walking down the hall, it catches on somebody's book bag, it rips it out. So I would tape it multiple times down through here to keep the wire taped down. You guys are so quiet with the camera on. What the? I'm not complaining. Alright, now I'm going to change this a little bit because last class I didn't make it long enough. Okay, What's the length of the quote unquote fishing line to the bottom of the electromagnet? 45 to 50 centimeters. 40 to 50 centimeters. Okay, so again I'm measuring and I'll measure it after I put it in there. Alright, now I can stretch this out to make it look normal. All right. So this wire goes straight down to your electromagnet or to your well, yeah, to your electromagnet. Okay. So I'm going to measure. I'm actually going to put it 45 centimeters this time. I put it 40 last time. So I'm going to start my coils right here. So how do you want to coil the, the core? What's the tips we told you, Emma? Tighten the coils together. Tighten the coils together. Okay. See how that's loose? We don't want that. Okay. I'm going to tighten them up as much as you possibly can. Anybody else? Am I done? What else? Make it longer. Make what longer? The wire. The wires. Really so add what? More coils. More loops, more coils, okay? More loops, more coils, the better. Should you overlap the coils? I'll let you figure that out on your own. <laughs> you can. And it, and it'll but you don't work. have to. You can and it will work. You might want to test it. Those are one of the things that you can, that you can uh, play with as you build it. Now, there's only a couple things really, as I told the other class, that you can do that's going to alter how yours works compared to somebody else's. It's, and this is it. You know, one of the things. What are you going to use for your core? What type of wire will you use? How many loops can you put in it? How tight can you get the loops? Um, how long is your wire? Those are all factors that are going to affect the strength of your electromagnet. You know, how can you increase the current in your circuit? We talked about some things the other day in class. What can you do to make sure you, that you get as much or as many electrons flowing through there as fast as you can? Just about that. Do I want to have all this covered so there's no metal exposed? Because remember, where does the, the solenoid increases the magnetic field in what part? Is it on the outside of the solenoid or the inside of the solenoid? The inside, in the middle of the solenoid, is where the magnetic field is created and strengthened. Start. Let's try that. Hold that. Hold it right there. Why's your hood up? Take it down. <laughs> Thank you. I got it. Trying to be all hooded on that. 
on the video. <laughs> <laughs> I got my foot up. That's a high put up. There's one at board. Sean's one at this one stays. <laughs> All right, now again, distance from the tip of the pole to the bottom of the electromagnet, okay? So this is now 41, so I should be good there. All right, put another piece of tape at the top. And I would tape this multiple times up through there. Hook for myself. I'll go ahead and connect this back here. And I'll tape it down one more time. Okay, now as I told my other classes, what I've seen, where I see mistakes made. I'm sure Mrs. Liebland's seen the same thing. Mm -hmm. Is somebody will come in and they'll use more than two wires. Or they'll they'll take this wire from here, they'll take it down, and then here they'll actually cut it, put another wire on the solenoid, cut it, and then take another wire and wire it back to the back end. You don't need to do that. It's just one solid wire. Okay, it goes from the switch to the top of the pole, down to the solenoid, or to your electromagnet, around it back up, back down, this comes all the way back to the rear end of the battery in this case. Now, you can move the battery, you can put the battery in front. So if you had the battery in front, then it would come to the rear end of the switch. It just depends on where you put your switch and where you put your your battery. Right? Capiche? Capiche. One more piece of tape and we'll see if it works. Doesn't work. We'll be a first. Okay, so again, a lot of tape. I'm just not. See how the wires are hanging loose? Okay. Walking down the hallway, somebody's going to see you that doesn't like you and grab your wires and pull them out. Okay. Yes, there are people out there that don't like you. All right. <laughs> okay, so just to prove to you it's not working, Rage. put it in, doesn't pick anything up, okay? Switch isn't pressed down, so as soon as I push the paper clip down, it comes into contact with the screw, okay? It closes the circuit. Okay. Now, when I let go, a good one will drop them. Okay. So, you might have to during competition, just give it a couple shakes. But again, just to show you, it's now demagnetized. Alright, so, press. Sorry, watch for flying paper clips. Okay, now, again, you need to move around 50, you know, in the 30 seconds to get the 20 grams. It's around 50 paper clips. So, here's one scoop. Okay, this is just a regular nail. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven. And there's thirty-one paper clips. Okay. So we need like two scoops. Yeah. I mean, if you did that twice, you've got your twenty grams. That's pretty simple. All right. Questions? How much? How many do you have for like the bonus ones? Okay. Well. It, again, you can get one bonus point for every 10 grams over. Okay. All right, so 25 paper clips or so is around 10 grams. And that's just an estimate. It's not perfect. Yes, sir? Is it bad if you're fishing a pool like